This is Maruya Airport on the east coast of Australia and I'm about to fly Echo Yankee Zulu back to Melbourne. It's a two hour flight over the snowy mountains. The only thing is we've still got bushfires burning here in Australia. You can see them just over there. done the pre-flight, done the walk around of the aircraft, checked everything, put the flight plan in. We're going to fly IFR back to Melbourne today and uh, just fixing the cameras now but I thought I'd share with you basically the ins and outs of the flight on the way home to Moorabbin so you can see what it is like flying through the bushfires here in Australia because despite the fact that it's not on the news anymore probably where you're watching this from, those fires are still definitely burning. Okay, Yankee Zulu is entering runway 36 and rolling. Will be a crosswind departure to the southwest towards Morabin, climbing 10,000. Maria traffic. All right, full power. Static RPM is good. Temperatures and pressures are good. Air speeds coming up. Oh, windy. Traffic Maria, this is Bummer 218 and Amphibodo 27 miles to the south inbound of 1000. Traffic Maria. Flaps away. Six hundred, caps is available. No on left, no on right, left turn. Melbourne Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu departed Maruya, time 15, standby for departure. Melbourne Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, IFR departure. Are we too low? 12075, 12075. Melbourne Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, IFR departure. Yankee Zulu, I uh, copied your previous calls. Hawk 4337, no reported IFR traffic report departure when ready. 337 and we are tracking 231 towards Kuma, passing 4500, climbing 10,000. Echo okay, Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, there is John H, 1020, good day, sir. 1020, thanks, Hans. Oh, so nice to have air traffic control here, you know. Okay, so the reason why we couldn't get air traffic control coming out of Maruya there was because of the snowy mountains which we're flying across were kind of shielding us. We're down on sea level, the snowy mountains go up and I guess the VHF repeater or the closest tower is shielded by those hills. That's why we couldn't get, that's why I couldn't speak to my friend Hats from ATC, but uh, he heard us, I couldn't hear him back. We're identified, squawk in the right code and off we go. And like, uh, like we saw from the airport down there in Maruya, straight into the smoke. We're coming through 7,000 feet now when I was flying to Maria earlier today to make a video with the guys from the Mogo Wildlife Park which will be coming out on the channel in a couple of weeks time. Flying down here the smoke stopped at around 7,000 feet. We're just passing through 7,000 now and I can't see out the top right now so hopefully, that's why I've got a higher level today on the way home, that's why I've got 10,000 feet on the way back because I'd like to be above the smoke. Not that it really affects anything, to be honest, but I don't like sitting in it. You can smell it. Obviously, visibility out the front is, well, zero. So it's not, not quite as comfortable flying rather than if you're actually on top of the smoke, which is where I'm hoping to be. Two and a half thousand feet to go. Echo Yankee Zulu identified, we're up on level. Echo Yankee Zulu passing 7,500, climbing 10,000. Echo Yankee Zulu. Still in the smoke. Echo 
8,500. Come on, baby. If you can spot anything, mate. Nine thousand feet. I don't think we're going to break out on top. I will advise. Just uh, report uh, touch on the next one. Nine thousand six hundred and forty oh, feet. That's incredible. Almost ten thousand feet of smoke. The train's up to about five thousand feet below us. We're at ten thousand, only just over the smoke. So that's about five thousand feet, just of bushfire smoke. Oh, it's nice to be on top of it. Alright, levelling off, 10,000. Milkshake, we should have been more positive. If you saw the video I made just about the GoPro Max 360 camera and the Insta360, I was talking about controlling them via the iPhone. We've had a shuttle and estimating herb on time 5 years. One thing I didn't say, and I have noticed with the GoPro, I can't comment on the Insta360 because I haven't used it as much, but the GoPro keeps losing the Wi-Fi connection. So I had it on for takeoff, and now I'm trying to control the uh, 360 camera to turn it off, but um, it just won't connect. It keeps saying, I don't know if you can see that, it says the Fly Phone 11 Max not found. So that means I can't turn it off during the flight now, which means it's just going to run out of batteries Better before I get to the rabbit. Which is annoying because it means I don't get the landing into Morabi and I've got the other camera under the wing so I'll capture it on that. But it's little things, little things like that that can sometimes annoy you about equipment. Well, I shouldn't say annoy you, it shouldn't annoy you. It's Things go wrong. You've got to get used to that, especially with aviation and technology. But it would be nice if that Wi-Fi connection to cameras could be made a little bit more reliable. Otherwise, for those of us that use the cameras remotely like that, eh, makes it harder. The smoke wasn't quite as thick earlier in the morning, and so I actually flew over some of the bushfires um, on the way out. And I'll show you some of the footage that I got when I was flying over them. Fires like that, uh, we don't have as many of the larger, like, super catastrophic fires that we had maybe a month ago. But there are still fires burning across the southeast of Australia. You can see, looking out of the aircraft now, I mean, there's smoke everywhere here in southeast Australia. So there's still fires burning. The thing is, it's obviously not getting as much coverage on the TV because, well, we have things like the coronavirus and we have elections happening in the US and, and you know, the news cycle kind of drops the story fairly fast. So what I've been doing is trying to fly out to some of the areas that have been affected, like Maruya, just show them off, just show, like, why they're cool, why you should go and visit them. I was hanging down at Maruya Wildlife Park today, uh, doing some filming down there. They've been doing so much work to help the animals that have been affected. One of the saddest things that Chad, the director down there, said to me is I said, oh, you must have had loads of animals coming in that you've had to look after because of the fires. And he said, no, the problem is we haven't had loads of animals coming in. We've had a few. It's just because so many of them didn't make it. The fires were just so brutal and so hot and came through so fast that a lot of them just didn't have a chance. Now, our fellow weather nerds out there have you heard of pyrocumulus clouds? Because we've got one just off the right wing now. Let me see if I can get it on the iPhone. That little cloud sticking up there above all the smoke is not made by anything else other than the fire that's burning below it, I believe. And we have a lot of those. So what happens is the fire burns, heats up the air around it so much that the air rises up, creates this cumulus cloud. And then the bad thing with those cumulus clouds is that they can sometimes generate lightning. So they'll generate lightning, lightning will strike the dry ground below and it will start more fires. So the fires create more fires. Like any cumulus cloud, those ones are certainly ones that you want to avoid when you're flying as well. That would be horrible inside that cloud. I honestly don't think we'd come out the other side of it if we went into it. All right, let's try something. Just start 723, Let's see if we can go higher. Okay, oxygen's working. See if we can climb up a bit. Echo Yankee Zulu request, flight level 120 if available. Echo Yankee Zulu, no reported IFR traffic, flight level 120. Echo Yankee Zulu, climbing flight level 120. There's no point sitting in that turbulence. 
when we've got oxygen on board, a plane that's not very heavy, and the potential of clear air above us. It also means if there were any build-ups like that pyrocumulus cloud that we saw earlier, and they're hidden in the smoke, if I'm in the smoke, I'm not going to be able to see them ahead of me. Whereas if I get up above it, you can obviously see them poking up, hopefully. Well, if you're in clear air, you can see what's ahead of you, basically. As we're going into the flight levels here in Australia above our transition level, we change to 1013, standard barrow. All right, I reckon that's a lot better. Flight level 120. This air is much smoother, that's much better. Actually quite pretty up here. But then you realise what's down below you. I'll tell you, this oxygen system in Echo Yankee Zulu has saved me a lot of times. That would have been pretty gnarly actually, just going along at 10,000 all the way home. Also, banana bread, thank you Junior Pilot, we did some cooking at the weekend. Echo Yankee Zulu maintaining flight level 120. Echo Yankee Zulu, sensor, good day. And if you're clear to Moraba and you can track direct to Cole, send the plan route, flight level 120. Track direct Cole, then plan route, uh, flight level 120. Thanks, Echo Yankee Zulu. Alright, that saves us a bit of time. Let me show you what I do here on the. Um, it's ridiculously easy on the Garmin. Go here, go to flight plan. Go to colds, go to direct two, direct two, yep, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna activate, activate, and because we're in nav mode already, what the aircraft does, knows that there's a turn, and turns. It's always nice when you're on a homeward bound leg when you get track shortening. And even though it's gonna save us two minutes, that's still, uh, that's still home two minutes earlier than I would have been. bit of cloud up ahead. It should only be a small amount I can see pretty much through to the other side, but we might actually go through it. I need to wash some of the dust off this plane anyway. Just in case there's any turbulence like that, there's always a few kicks as you go through the clouds. Just make sure everything's secure at the moment. Milkshake, all jokes aside, I'm going to put you there because I don't want you sliding down the front. nice when the smoke's not here because it, it really changes your style of flying. I don't have to shoot an approach into an airport. Uh, this is Melbourne's Class C airspace, really busy airspace, but um, I can do a visual descent because I can see the ground. What is that, 15 descent at the start of 4,000? And let's get a set up for um, entry into Moravia. We've got the ATIS there on uniform, runway 17. It should just be a straight in approach. We are descending quite rapidly. Echo Yankee Zulu, you're clear to leave controlled airspace in the descent visual. You can do a VFR traffic off at your 11 o'clock, 2 miles, 2200 on verified level and similar direction to yourself. Uh, copy the traffic, looking and clear to leave controlled airspace on visual descent. Echo Yankee Zulu. Yankee Zulu at 6 miles, contact Marvin Tower for current, this afternoon. 6 miles over to the tower, Echo Yankee Zulu, see ya. Marvin Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu approaching Academy 1500 with uniform inbound visual. A couple in together there, copied Victor Charlie India downwind. Victor Charlie India. And Echo Yankee Zulu Academy 1500 with uniform inbound visual. 
Okay, New Zealand, join three mile final runway one seven left, report three miles. Three mile final one seven left, okay, New Zealand. Okay, you can make it a uh, three mile join change of runway 17 right, contact tower 1230. 1230 uh, one, and uh, 17 right, okay, Yankee Zulu. Okay, Yankee Zulu, we're uh, just coming up for a three mile final for 17 right. Okay, Yankee Zulu, Roger, join final runway 17 right to number one. 17 right, okay, Yankee Zulu. Change of runways, I think there's a few people in the circuit on 17 left. I much prefer them landing on 17 right. So thank you, Moravia. Pass through the mic, you'll have to depart now. I've got traffic on final. Pass through the mic. Traffic 12 o'clock. Yeah. No less than one mile. I can see him. Okay, Yankee Zulu is clear to land. Clear to land, okay, Yankee Zulu. Much clearer here. Barry Ground, Echo Yankee Zulu on Alpha 5, request taxi to main apron. Echo Yankee Zulu, taxi apron. Taxi apron, Echo Yankee Zulu.